at least fifteen thousand dollars more in Minnesota than what you're making here in, yeah, in Georgia. I, now I. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's your girl Malaika, aka Mali, aka Malibu, whatever you want to call me. You don't know that it is me, and this is Malaika's Flex. Guys, I just got off the phone with HR, and the way I am excited for you guys, I was like, you know what? I can't wait to get home to do this video. I have to do it right, 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 right now. So, let me tell you about a school district that is offering h1b visas all right to teachers who are aspiring aspiring to come to the united states and teach with them guys if you have been following my channel from last year you would have heard me say that i've been making phone calls because i am not going to present information to you guys unless i have the full details right and as i'm you know as i continue to do this you know i learn other things that i need to add to my information and all that so i keep adding it to my to my checklist uh, my checklist on my computer um so whenever i call these districts i have set questions that i ask them and guys i am telling you that i'm so excited for you guys so guys before i give this information tell me what i'm about to say tell me what i'm about to say subscribe because this takes a lot of work when i tell you the amount of time i've been calling since last year um telling me to hold and not getting back to me um telling me to call back next week because somebody's out of office um telling me to call a different number listen it is so much work and i am committed to it i've been calling since last year some of these school districts i've been trying to get through to from last year and i called them back this year again and that is why i haven't um, put out all this information as yet but thus far i have told you guys about savannah you guys know about savannah already i've told you about orangeburg i've told you about bib county i've told you about Anne arundel um and i think that's about it that i've told you about thus far where the h1b visas are concerned for teachers okay today i want to talk to you as you would have seen in the thumbnail about a school district in minnesota yes they are offering the h1b and as i'm speaking to you you will see me just you know look off the screen a little bit because i have the information there and i want to make sure that i am presenting the information correctly to you all now the beauty about this school district you guys know that the school districts are always asking for at least two years of teaching experience but this school district is saying that you do not need to have any experience so when I show you the website, you can go onto the website and see if your subject area is being offered and you can go ahead and apply directly on their website. However, you must have a bachelor's degree in education to teach with this school district, okay? This is coming directly from HR. So they don't care if you have experience or not, but they do want you to have at least a bachelor's degree in education. Now, another beauty about this school district is that they're willing to take you from your home country. Remember, I've told you guys that some school districts, not some, many school districts do the H-1B visa, but they are not willing to accept applicants that have not been through the J-1 process already. They want people who are already in the U.S., who have already served in the U.S., but this school district is saying that we will take you directly from your home country. Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. And that's why I'm making these phone calls because I want to know the full details. I don't want you guys to waste your time, apply to a school district that's only accepting people who are already in the U.S. And then you don't hear from the, the district and you're wondering what's happening. And these applications are long. I don't want you wasting your time on such school districts. And if I mention those school districts to you and you decide to apply, that's that's you know entirely up to you. you you guys know i'm always saying nothing ventured nothing gained nothing tried nothing done all right 
but if you don't have the time i want you to just apply to the school districts that you know are truly hiring or willing to hire people that are within their home countries now as it relates to premium not just premium processing but the processing of the h1b visa they are willing to pay well i think they have to i think these school districts whenever they're paying for the visas they have to pay for the standard processing but not all of them will pay for premium processing because they don't have to do that standard processing of the visa usually takes about five months and let's say you get interviewed in about may may june july august september october before that comes through and then you still have to go to the embassy and everything it takes a while if it's a standard so most people opt for the premium processing which takes about two weeks but it's expensive premium processing as far as i know right now it currently stands at two thousand five hundred dollars and this hr representative he's at the very top this wasn't just anybody i was speaking to this is the person at the very top he said that they are willing to pay anything to get you in the united states i asked him also about the green card because i know that you guys you know you want to know about a green card where green card is concerned they are willing to assist you with the green card process after you have committed with them for at least a year that's not bad because if you are on a j1 program you know that you're on the j1 program for three to five years then you have to go on to an h1b visa if you want to stay and all that so if they're saying that you need to stay with them for a year or two before they can assist you with the green card i think that's a fair um that's a fair trade that's fair business don't you think so that's fair business honestly so i'm going to take you guys to the website as i said to you um before oh piece of information that i'm forgetting and this is why i tell you guys to listen and watch to the end because you guys know how my mind works you know it go all over even though i have the information right here in front of me this time but sometimes you know i forget um another important piece of information is where licensure is concerned they said that you do not have to get the license before applying to teach with them when they have expressed interest in you you've done your interview and you've gotten through to the job they will assist you with the license process so um you do you know all states as far as i'm concerned you need a license to teach um they will assist you with that process so as i've been doing with other videos regarding h1b and teachers I'll be showing you the website that you can go to to apply. I'll also be showing you the salary that you can expect to get. And I'll also be showing you what rent is looking like in that area, just generally speaking, so you guys can have an idea as to what your income will be. And because, you know, I keep telling you guys, the big chunk of your money will be going towards rent. So it's important to know what you'll be getting versus what you'll be paying for rent and if it will make sense for you, all right? So stay tuned let me quickly get you guys through this next step of the video minnesota you would make more money than yes, here yes um so i was like wondering when i saw the salary uh scale for that school district i was like hold up because <laughs> yeah. i don't want the people to like apply and then it's going to be rough on them you know like with that mm -hmm. salary because mm -hmm. like someone with a doctorate with like 11 years experience is like seventy-seven thousand. Mm -hmm. i would think that it should be better yes. i don't know when I was making, when I lived in Minnesota and I had my doctorate, um, mm -hmm. I was Yeah, this is, this is Dr. W. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't even introduce her properly <laughs> uh, earlier on, but yes. And I was making um, uh, at least $15,000 more in Minnesota. Than what you're making here in, yeah, in Georgia. I, now yeah. I, I, I can say, because I ca almost caught up. I've been mm -hmm. here a couple years, mm -hmm. and I'm almost... But I'm still ten thousand dollars behind. 10, yes, than what I was making in Minnesota. But now, was your rent more expensive in Minnesota? Yes, I was going to say. Okay. But the cost of living in Minnesota was more mm -hmm. than it is in in the South. Okay. And so, um, so you have to, you know, think about equate all that stuff yeah. in there. Um, but I can say that when I worked at a charter school, mm -hmm. I made a lot less. Even, even if it's like BA plus 10 years, this is still like not much, 45,000, like, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> it's not much. Oh yeah, PhD goes up to like 82,000 for 11 and it doesn't say after 11, like step 11, what it is. So yeah. There's another page. The I next page is like just oh, okay. explaining stuff. Cause it just, it does keep going up. It should, right? Mm -hmm. 
But you know, when I look at this, the pay scales for like Texas, like school districts in Texas, like it stops at a certain point as well. Mm-hmm. But they still go so. up every year. Okay. You still get a raise. It still goes up. Yeah, okay. you get like a cost of living raise. Okay. One thing I did did like about Minnesota though was the money. <laughs> as far as teaching, you do make better money if you're working in the public school system. Yeah. Um, I made better money than I do, but you're probably thinking, well, then why would you leave that to make less money to make ten thousand dollars? So that must mean I was going through some other things in Minnesota for me to um, to leave to leave ten thousand dollars on the table and come yeah. to the south. And yeah, that's what I said. So teachers go through black teachers. Look and see what the um, if there's a high turnover for black teachers more so in the Midwest than mm-hmm. there is in the South. Even though it's high turnover period with teachers, we talk, we, we deal with a lot mm-hmm. for a world that says they, um, like, um, like Cat Williams said yesterday, for a world that says they dedicate to the children. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it, thank you. All right, so y'all say thank you. In the comment section down below, just say thank you, Dr. W, for her information. <laughs> um, yeah, bye. Bye. She was busy, y'all, and she took the time out to come help me out with this video. What I decided to do is just Google District 742 Community Careers, okay? And that takes us to this website right here. I'm going to select the very first one. All right, and this is what the page will look like. I always give the disclaimer, I am on my cell phone. You know, you guys know that's how I record. Don't have any fancy cameras or anything. I'm not um, editing from any laptop or whatever, just from my phone. So you'll see current job openings. We are going to select view our open positions. It says seven to nine openings. And of course, this is not just showing teacher positions at this time. All right, so we're going to go on to teachers where we see 14. Let's look at all vacancies. So here we're seeing um, early childhood teacher. EL teacher, that's English language teacher, elementary. And of course, guys, this was just posted just a few days ago. You know, as the year progresses, they will be posting more job openings. You guys can, you know, keep checking back on the website to see what they have available. Now, so this is what the salary scale is looking like. Um, you will not earn anything less than um, about 41000 You will not earn anything less than that, okay? Um, you can look at the salary scale. Um, if you have questions about it, you can always reach out to HR, guys. I am not a part of HR. Sometimes you guys ask me some questions, you know, and I'm like, one of these people, no, I don't work with these people. <laughs> anyway, this is the salary scale. So I'm just quickly going through the apartments in St. Cloud, Minnesota, um, District 472. Um, so I'm seeing here, this is for, you know, from a studio straight up to three bedroom from 945 to 1500. That's not bad to be honest, like, because I was wondering why the salary was so low, but maybe because in this area, the rent is not too bad. The rent isn't too bad in this area, to be honest, like rent is far more expensive where I live. Um... 925 $1,000. See, we even see something here. One bedroom for $678. Not bad at all. This not look bad at all. This isn't look 500 I have never seen something for rent for $520, honestly. So I guess this is why the salary is looking like that because I know usually like if the area is one that you know that it has a very low cost of living um where rent is concerned then usually the pay or the salary looks a certain way so now this makes sense to me and i hope it makes sense to you guys so we see that we can get the, um something to rent for as low as i'm not going to say the 500 dollars because that lo just looks so low i'm going to say as low as 700 dollars we can get something to rent a one-bedroom and uh, 
you know we can keep climbing depending on what you're looking for exactly so i hope that put that puts things into perspective for perspective for you guys so thank you guys for watching it's always a pleasure serving you all please remember to subscribe to malika's flex for more information guys like i've said i've been making a lot of phone calls and i have a whole list of h1b school districts it's hiring season you guys and i'm not going to leave you guys behind for this hiring season okay savannah up to the requirements to five years experience guys i have other school districts that are saying zero years of experience required stay tuned subscribe to my like as flex to get more information if you have gotten to this end of the video please comment down below hashtag minnesota because that's where the school district is hashtag minnesota all right thank you guys as usual for watching it's your girl malaika aka mali aka malibu saying bye, -bye.